Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this tutorial, we are going to demonstrate the use of layer panels, how to create, delete, edit, manipulate layers in general. So first of all, I have this file already opened, which is uh, an image downloaded from freepick.com. You can open any file or you can start even a new file if you want. You see, you can go to file in new and then you start any custom file like art illustrations and I'm going to select this and we create a new file it's going to be the same thing you're going to start with the background layer one layer which is locked to unlock this layer you need to click or to click this little lock icon here now if you want to add uh, another layers you can simply drag any image from your explorer and put it here and this is going to add a new layer or you just click this little plus icon at the bottom of your layers panel to add a new layer. When you have a layers, you're gonna when you when you add layer, it's gonna be added before the selected one. So you see, if you click designer and you add, it's gonna be added before the designer. It's not gonna be added at the beginning. So this is the the first point you need to remember. The selected select a layer and the click insert. Then you're gonna add a layer before it. The layer on top will be visible. So as you can see here, the arrangement of the layers is very important. Actually, it's essential to work with Photoshop application. So the next step is how to rename a layer because it's always a good practice that you give your layer a name. So when you have many layers or when you, when you want to share your project with others, they know each layer content or what each layer means. So I'm going to name this, for example, web development and this is as you can see it's a designer and i'm going to name this a background so now uh, sorry background not f d so to arrange layers as you show before a while you just need to click and drag the layer to move it up and down along your layers panel okay there are several options that you can do with layers we're going to start by, if you want to delete a layer, you just click the layer and hit delete from the keyboard. If you want to copy a layer, you can use the shortcut, which is Control J. As you see, you see here, Control J, you are going to have a layer copy. Or you can just drag this layer here over the new layer icon, and this is going to create another copy. Of course, there are several other ways to do it, but we are going to demonstrate a few ways. I usually use the Control J option to create a, a copy of the layer now again if you want to delete your copies you can delete delete it using just the delete key from the keyboard if you want to select a layer or more than one layer selecting a layer layer is very clear you can just click it if you want to select more than one layer you can hold control and the click to select several layers or you click the first layer then shift and the last layer and they are gonna select all the range between them now if you want to hide a layer to see the effect without or with it you simply click this little eye here if you want to hide all of them you click and drag this is going to hold or hide all of them there is a an alt shortcut when you use you can click to show one layer or to hide one layer you see now when i click this i'm going to hide everything but this layer i'm going to solo this layer as in some applications like after effects you can see the solo option so one more time you need to press alt and click the layer that you want to keep and this is going to keep this layer and hide everything else so this is also a useful shortcut in Adobe applications usually control alt shift and combination of two or three of them are very useful to produce very useful shortcuts now up there you can filter your layers for example let me change this layer to a smart object we're going to talk about the smart objects in separate video tutorials inshallah so you see you can filter your op your layers to see only smart objects like these two smart objects or you want to see only pixel layers like these layers pixel layers which means the raster layers that consist of pixels not vectors and you can also display only the type layer which we have no type layer yet or the shape layer and so on or you can turn off the filters and that's it or you can do a selection from here one more thing that you need to know about the layer are these tools here 
so let me first select a layer and we are gonna select some part and delete it I'm gonna talk about this in a minute sorry in next tutorial so first of all what is this does look transparent pixels when you look transparent pixels and you have a transparent area in your layer and you are trying to paint you see I'm gonna just make it smaller you can paint everywhere but you cannot paint here okay you cannot paint your transparent layer so this is what look transparent means and you have look image pixels and this is going to look your image okay look moving you cannot move your layer and look artboard you cannot it's going to prevent auto nesting in and out from artboards and this is going to be discussed when you work with outboards with artboards you see now i'm going to try the move so you see you cannot move your layer you see you cannot move it because the layer is locked but you still can paint on it so some in some cases you want to avoid the the accident or unnecessary movement of your layers and the other one is look the whole layer when you look the layer you cannot do anything of it all of these are going to be locked so look we'll look all of them if you don't want to look everything you can select which one to look from here you can unlock it and I'm going to undo several times of course Photoshop will undo once until you do actually the or you go to the history and go back to your layer here okay so I will just go back again the other two options that you can see here with the layer panel is the fill opacity okay which is gonna reduce your inside fill as you can see here this is going let's go to the tooltip text and show you what does it mean so it is it is not showing it is the inside fill and this is the master fill of your layer opacity and we are going to talk about this when we talk about layer styles and we are going to demonstrate the difference between the master layer opacity and the fill which is the inside area opacity the inside area of the layer opacity that you can change from here okay one more last thing that we need to know about layers which is the blending modes again these blending modes are going to be discussed in detail in a separate video but when we keep this layer here and we change the blending mode you see it's going to change how two layers will blend together okay and of course the location and the colors and everything of the layer will affect your results okay that's it for layer manipulation thank you very much for listening and i hope you enjoyed have a nice day